Today I'm going to show you how to add a circuit to your power panel. I need to add one for my air conditioner. So um, I'm just going to show you how to add the breaker into here and then run the wire out and over to the, uh, the cutoff box. The first step will be to remove this face plate from the breaker box so that we can get at the wiring behind it and add the breaker. Once you have the panel off, you can, uh, or before you have the panel off even, you can turn off the main breaker if you'd like to, just for safety. Um, I don't care to do that. I like having the lights on and everything while I'm working. So just be aware that these, um, these little bus bars in the middle are powered with 120 volts each. Um, and these two bars here have um, 240 between them. So just keep your hands off of those things and you'll be okay. Uh, the first thing you need to do is, um, is get the breaker that's the right size for what you're doing. For my air conditioner cutoff, I was told to get a 20 amp breaker by the, um, by the air conditioner guy. So you can see that's a, it has the, uh, the amperage that's on the handle there. This is 20 amp, 220 volts. 220 means that it is a double wide breaker. So it goes across two of the 110 volt circuits, which are 180 degrees out of phase, and that adds up to 220. So that's why this is double wide. After I've selected my breaker, I need to select my wire. I have some 12 gauge wire, which will be plenty big for a 20 amp circuit. Probably a little bit too big even, but um, I'm going to run the wire down the top. It's going to go up into the ceiling, so I'm going to come in the top of this box. The top of the box has some little punch outs in it. As you can see, um, these two are already used by some 110 um, breakers. I can, um, I can just punch out the next one right here uh, just by punching this down and get that out of there, and then I can put a, a clamp. You can see these are some cable clamps already installed in here. I'll put a cable clamp in there and then I can run my wire through it. These clamps come, are, are threaded and they, they come with a, a little nut that goes on the back of them. And you just uh, screw that on. And you can tighten it with a pair of pliers or whatever you have. Get it good and tight because um, it won't be easy to tighten it later once the cable's in it. And once you've got it tight, then you're ready to run your cable through it. Once you've run the cable into the box, then you can go ahead and hook up the breaker to the wires, to the conductors on the cable, and install the breaker if you want. I'm going to go ahead and do that, just leave the breaker off because I haven't installed the other end of the cable yet. To install the wiring, we have, here we have a, um, a bare copper wire, we have a white wire, a red, and a black. And so what this means, the, the black is always hot, either whether it's 240 or 120, black is hot. Red is hot in a 220 line. It's the other side of the, the black and the red are 220 volts apart. And white is neutral. And white is 120 volts from either one of these. And um, in this circuit that I'm doing, I won't be using the white wire because it, it's just uh, it's 220 volts. There's no neutral line used. There's no 110 needed at the other end. I'm going to go ahead and wire the white on this end in case there is ever a need at the other end of the circuit. I'll have it, and then I just don't have to wire it at the other end. The bare copper goes to this ground bar up here along with the white, and then the red and the black go to the two sides of the breaker. There's two terminals in this breaker, you can see here. Red and black can go to either side of that.
So once you've got this wired into the box, and you can do this last or you can do it first, I just happen to do it first, um, then I can go and wire the other end of the circuit. I'm going to run the wire through the attic and down and, and out the wall where I need it on the outside of the wall for the air conditioner and, um, and wire up the box over there. When you've run these cables up next to the studs, um, they need to be tied down close by the box, I think within six or eight inches. So we're going to use staples for that, cable staples. They look like this. And we'll just hammer them in over the cable until they're snug. We don't want to hammer it in to the conductor or anything, but just hammer it down until it's snug. So from the inside I poked this wire out and it came out through the siding and um, I'm going to install this box. This is a, a cutoff box and it just it doesn't have a fuse or anything in it. It just simply has a little handle that you pull out and that cuts it off. It disconnects the, uh, the box so that the air conditioner man can work on it and know that he's safe. So on the back of this cutoff box there is a uh, there are punch outs also on the bottom but I'm gonna I'm gonna come straight out of the wall into this punch out so I need to go ahead and punch this out and then I'll poke this wire through this hole that I've punched out and go ahead and wire up the cutoff box I'll mount it and then wire it up To wire this box up, we'll just um, run our bare copper wire to this ground here, and we'll run our red to the uh, the inside lug. I don't know if you can see this, but it says line on here. So we'll run our red to one side and our black to the other side. And then when we put our, our shorting bar in, which has copper plates on it, looks like that. When we put that in, it'll contact from the the center conductor to the outer one so it'll be line to load and line to load so when the air conditioner man comes he'll hook up his load to these outside lines right here so I'll just hook up to the inside and then I'll leave it for him
So once that we have this wired up, we can go and turn on the circuit breaker and then come back here and put our tester across here and see if it works. After you've tested the circuit outside and, and made sure that it worked, you can just turn it back off until you're ready to use it. And you can just place the cover back over that. Before you can place the cover back on the load center, you need to um, break out the tabs that were covering where the new circuit is. So just um, get your pliers and bend those tabs out so that it'll fit over the load center. And that's how you add a circuit to a load center. Thank you for watching.